Hello everyone, it is I, MechLord, and today I am playing a deck that is far from solved and with which I am probably going to misplay a lot. So you, you, you've been warned if you're looking for good gameplay content, this, this ain't it. So Fabled, huh? A deck that was... How shall we say? Kinda, kinda, kinda not a really like not, not a lot of people took a, took a look at it. Is what I would say if a playmaker and soon soon didn't make videos about this deck. But still, it is a synchro deck that has received some new support as well as a scale in contract fable, which uh, doesn't seem all that great at first. But then you realize it's kinda nutty because it basically allows you to search your field spell every game, which allows you to recycle the Grim Row that you're gonna use to search for more cards. Like, sure, you get out this card, but all of these cards plus off of discarding. Well, that's not true. Some of them uh, are discard enablers, and some of them are discards payouts. And, and some of them are both. And then, you know, there's, there's a new uh, Fable. Boss Monster, I don't know if you can call it that, Fable and Wraith, which basically reads every single card in your opponent's hand turns into Effect Veiler. Yeah, this card isn't so good. But the rest of the deck is like surprisingly competent, you can very easily end on a board of Crystal Wing plus Fable Treason plus whatever disruption you drew thanks to the absolutely insane Fable Rajin, which um, is just part, this card is just part of Greed, it is just part of Greed, that's just what this card says. Other than that, you know, the, the it's a it's a non-linear combo deck. Uh, Kushano is very useful to repeatedly trigger some discard effects because this doesn't have a launch per turn. Neither does Grimro. You should play the three on the F2 copies, and I, I, I'm not gonna spend gems to get a, a third one. I'm not too convinced that Nozuchi is too good. Maybe I'll end up cutting it, especially because we don't have an easy, like, uh, synchro 4 for it to, to go into. That's another issue with this deck, is that the extra deck is so tight. If you could play 15 monsters in the extra, this would be the deck for it. Because, like, I decided to put Dweller because it's an instant win against a lot of, like, meta decks. But, and, and Phoenix is always good and also it discards. But, like, you could also put um, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, you can also put Bryonac, you can put a bunch of Generic 6 sevens and even some eights that would be really good and that's in that deck well not really good but decent but unfortunately you have to choose and i think double right jane is like maybe it's just me coping but it's it, my personal preference uh, for for this deck so why don't i just show you how to probably not play this deck properly in ranked okay uh maybe this is the uh, daily battle chronicle Yep, sure seems like it. Unfortunately, I'm going second, and this deck kind of has a hard time playing against Disruption, except for that I drew the MST, which is really good. So this hand, you know, double discard payoffs, uh, it's really good. I can pitch one of the fabled uh, elephants. I'm not going to bother learning their names. To get the Field Spell, Field Spell sends Grimrow, Field Spell retrieves Grimrow, uh, send these two. Uh, Grimrow pitch to get... I'm not sure. It has to be something like a normal, right? Alright, I don't know why I was concerned. Alright, so... We are going to shuffle Elephant. Get... Field of Maho! Stay away to a Fabled Realm. Stay away to a Fabled Realm activates. Allowing me to send... The Fabled Grimrow. And then, if they have a DD Crow, this is bad. But not that bad, because the discard effects still happen. But they, if they had a DD Crow, I would still have been forced to like discard my two Bunguses. Uh, which obviously not the greatest. So we're going to get a Cerberell and a Ganashia. Uh, what's Grimrow going to get? Hmm, maybe a Chawa, so I can immediately go into... No, you know what, I'm gonna get the um, the Beaver guy, forgot his name, Beaver Man. Alright, we're gonna set everything, and then we are going to Synchro, Shokan, Fabled, Raijin! 
Raijin is gonna draw me two cards. Not oh shoot! Actually, these do a lot. Oh my god! We can bring back a bank. That's the that's the beaver. We can bring back Ganashia. That's the elephant. And we can go for a second Raijin. Uh, this one's not gonna be part of the This one's just gonna be um. What's this one gonna be? It's just gonna be a uh, jar of greed. That's pretty good too. That is pretty good as well. At this point, I can just use the skill, and uh, I'm gonna get rid of Chawa. I'm gonna get Grimro, which I can normal for to make a six, but I don't know if that accomplishes anything. Over uh, now, I'm just gonna pitch it. And I'm gonna get a Kushano, probably. So I can pitch it for treason. Then I can just go into Cybus Quantum Dragon, which is an OTK enabler. And that's game. Unless they have Kytroid, which uh, most, most of the time they do. Yeah! We wah! Wow, it wasn't wasn't that amazing? A duel in which my opponent didn't do anything and I got to pop off. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Um This could be a real deck. Oh this might actually be a real deck. And this is my rank up too, so I better not mess this up. Ooh I don't know how I feel about this one. I didn't open any Synchros. I'm thinking here. I need to open any tuners, rather. I'm still probably getting this. Yeah, no, it's fine. I can pitch these two and still get the um, special, the Marcosia. So we're good. So, stay away to a fabled realm. Pitch Marcosia, pitch Cross. So, mandatory effects, both of them. Isn't that funny that, that these cards have mandatory effects? And also are not once per turn, because most of them were printed in like 2009. <laughs> here's the Mercosia, and here's the Treason that Mercosia searched. Which means then I can Grimro, and I'm probably going to get the uh, Chawa. Normal Chawa. Set one, set two, we're gonna summon Raijin! Is that even how you're supposed to pronounce it? Raijin? I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. What a cool looking guy. What an amazing looking fella. Woo! It's not too bad. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna play a bit greedy here. And I'm gonna um, pitch the Grim Row to get a Cat Sith so that Fable Treason turns into two pops. I'm confident on this board. Treason pops a face up, this pops a face up, and this also like reborns. That's fine, it all happens in separate chains. How will Synchrons play around one, two, three, four disruptions? Synchron Carrier, and I believe this is what we in the biz call the end of the game. Goodbye, Synchro Chase. Hoping that Synchro Chase is in, instead of the Carrier, because I'm like pretty sure that they have a Lance, which uh, does not protect against Cat. Little, little kitty. <laughs> Oh no! It's not it's not a it's not a spell trap effect, you fool! Haha! <laughs> Defeated by the fabled! You can concede now. I'm not gonna judge you. Yep! <laughs> oh this deck is fun. Alright, could this be against uh the, the spirit grasp deck? Oh, 
I'm going second because I do have a lot of. Ooh, that's better. That is really that's decent actually. Because you need two discards for the field spell. I'm really miffed about that. Club Bloom into Linker. So that they get to search with the Glow Up Bloom. They're not going to get to summon because Zombie World is not, in fact, in a field zone. Going to get Jacobulan. Which they're going to pitch the Necrowall Banshee to special. Necrowall Banshee is going to be able to get a Zombie World. That's fine. And then Traden. Uh oh. Oh, it's the Doom King! God damn it! Another Doom King! I'm gonna set one. So immediately in draw, I have to MST. Oh my god, I drew a field spell. That's kinda neat. The fact that I drew a field spell makes me feel so much better. And we're gonna MST the second back row. Return of the Zombambos. Ooh. I wonder what they're gonna banish. We're gonna banish the Linkery Boat to bring back the Doom King Bailadrock. But we should be fine because none of our cards are Zombambos. Then Grimro here. Then activate the skill, replacing the um, Nozuchi uh, with. Oh, I misread what this skill does. Oh no, that was stupid. Oh no, that was stupid. That's not what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to activate the other part of the skill. Wow, I'm an idiot. It is completely a okay because I still get to ride in and win the game. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I didn't misplay this at all. That was what we call in the biz extended BM. Extend. Okay, well, this doesn't do anything. <laughs> I thought this would Diddy Crow me for some reason. Alright, pitch these two. We get the Grimrow. We can Ganasha. And Cerberol. Jacobula has an effect that I'm sure is super relevant. Of summoning it. Oh, it is actually relevant because this is going to mess me up. Oh no, my doggy! Oh, it's fine. I'm just gonna have to pitch the Grim Road to get a beaver. This sucks because I would have gotten Kushano otherwise, and this would allow allow me to like go into Crystal Wing, which obviously a really good card. I'm gonna draw two. What do I have in my graveyard? I have. Grimrow. Which one do I pitch? Because like if I pitch this, I revive the um Grimrow. If I pitch this, I can go. No, I think I, it's better to pitch this. Beaver. Grimrow. Because I'm an idiot, I can't use the spot of the skill again. I can go into Stardust Charge, but then what? I'm hoping to draw exactly. One card. Or I can go into Cyber's Quantum. Put one of these back in his hand. Destroy the other. I think Quantum is the play. I think Quantum is the play. I'm not too confident about it, but I think it is the play. So, Quantum Dragon is going to get rid of this. Quantum Dragon is going to pop. We deal 17. Uh, Jacobulan is gonna resummon itself. Yeah. But Jacobulan does not contest Grimrow or Quantum Dragon, so it should be fine. Unless they draw exactly another Fear spell. In which case, it's less fine. I have a Fear spell! Oh my god! <laughs> And they drew Zombie World anyway. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't think this would plus them. It's fine. It's not like you can do anything to kill me this turn. Probably. 
Vampires suck. Okay. Return of the Zambambi boys. Banish. Get me back my fucking cross. Draw a card. Kill cross. Okay. They're gonna... Hmm. Doom King Bailadrock. Vampire Sucker is gonna draw them an additional card. Uh don't have anything in grave. I think I Chawa. Pitch the Ganashia. Summon a puppies. Ganashia is gonna activate here, it's a zombie because of Bailadrock, so they could just banish it. They could just say no. You've done enough. Oh, they decide not to. Is that just lethal if I go for... I gotta... I'm probably... I, 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 that's a big greedy. This is gonna get... No, you know what? I don't even have to activate it. I'm not gonna activate it. I'm just gonna... Because the field spell is in effect. Difference times 200. 1, 2, 3. So that's 600 life uh, attack. I can just... Do a little bit, little bit of damage here. That's 13. And that's enough to get rid of the Balladrox. So that's... That seems fine. Balladrox can come back, but... If I don't activate any effects, what can they do? Oh, Jacko Bulan is here. Oh, that's great. Oh my god, Pitch Glower Bloom. No. Goodbye, Raijin. You are a good friend. Well, that sucks. Uh, gonna get old Zera here. Oh my god. Uh, is there a way I can win this, actually? I don't think there's a way I can win this anymore. Because I just have to play defensive. Set a card face down. They can get rid of this at any given moment. To... Rock the Ballad Rock. Hmm... Uh, goodbye, Cat Stiffs. You're not very important to me right now. Not as important as this Grimro. The Grimro that's gonna get me Marcosia because I need. That's not even gonna be enough. That's not even gonna be enough. I can't really make anything with this either. I, yeah, I think this is a loss. Yeah, this is this is game over. <laughs> oh man. This probably was a way I could have won this one. This, this, this is one of the decks of all time for sure. It does play really well going first into no Velos, no Crows. It doesn't feel that great going second. Unless you happen to open MST or play against the one Blue Eyes player that doesn't know how to play Blue Eyes. I don't know, I, 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 I really like this deck but I also can't help but feel like it's, it's... Uh, it it feels unsolved, but also saying this makes me feel like I'm coping about this deck being actually good. <laughs> I don't think this one is actually good. I don't think this one is actually good. It is pretty fun though, I'll give you that. It is a pretty fun deck. If you're not sure what you spend your box chips on, like you have enough Cosmic Cyclones and stuff, uh, you can get three copies of this card. And then the rest of the deck is super expensive anyway, because uh, I think they're all in separate boxes too. Yeah, this is in Revolution Beginning. I think this one is in a mini box. Of course it is. Yeah, now this deck isn't worth it, dog. <laughs> this deck is not worth it. Unless you absolutely have zero other things you'd rather get. Which, considering how long I've been playing, might actually be my case. Isn't this one in Revolution Beginning? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's, that's a relief at least. Uh, so yeah, this was Fabled. Hope you enjoyed the deck. Let me know in the comments if, if you liked it or not. If you did like it, like the video. If you didn't like it, like the video. Make sure to subscribe either way. And I will see you all next time.